What demons of control are dominating your promised land and keeping you bound in fear? Hello, this is Phyllis Tarbox with Above and Beyond Christian Counseling. And today I'd like to talk to you about fear that's controlling you that you're allowing. You know, controlling spirits seek out those who cower under fear, fear of rejection so that they can increase while their victim dissipates. And you know what? What you allow will continue. You know, that scripture in Numbers 33, 55 through 57, it says, but if you do not drive out the inhabitants of the land from before you, then it shall be that those whom you let remain, those you allow, they shall be irritants in your eyes, thorns in your sides, and they shall harass you in the land where you dwell. And here's the tagline on that scripture. Moreover, it shall be that I will do to you as I thought to do to them. This scripture describes a very sobering view of defeat through permission that's extended to, to the enemy. So to allow a thing is just as bad as the actual sin. Allowing demons to extinguish the light of God via fear makes you an equal contributor and then it makes you a target for harassment. So I'd like to share with you my personal struggle with that spirit of fear and how it limited me. I, mean, I sat back for 28 years and allowed fear to control my every movement. I could see uh, the proverbial giants in the land and I literally chose to stick my head in the sand and sit on the west side of the Jordan. I collapsed in fear there. It was easier for me just to let them trample all over my destiny than to rise up and take back what they were stealing. So before my deliverance, my view was very bleak. In fact, I used to describe it to my friends that I was in a coffin, buried underground, like six feet underground, under a tree with all these chains wrapped around me and heavy padlocks. And they used to ask me, how do you live? with that kind of picture in your mind. And I said, well, I don't know how to escape. So I'm basically just surviving with that. I, rem I remember though, crying out to God at the top of my lungs. If you are listening, I would say to him, I need you right now. And that cry started things in motion. And God was waiting. He was waiting until I had had enough. And in one of Don's articles, he talked about demon management or freedom. And he said, "You." demon management or freedom you choose. And his blog shared an analogy that I just really enjoyed. It said, if you own a garden where the weeds have overwhelmed your produce, what's the best option for you? You pull or you kill the intruders. Weed management, if one were foolish enough to pursue this path, he said, involves trimming them back as they creep close to the valued greenery. You cope with the weeds, but you do not deal with the root. So the problem endures. Well, that hit me because back then my roots of torment were buried, but God had a plan. And it started with the realization that I was collaborating with demons and I was allowing them to use me as a food source. And you know allowing because allowing always, it results when you start rationalizing your situation and then you justify it. And then you circle the same mountain year after year. But I remember the new picture that I had after deliverance. The coffin was gone. I still had a long way to go, but I saw the light of day. It was like a light at the end of a tunnel. And I had a ladder to get up out of, of the pit that I was in. And every day I took another step up. And the key for me was my focus. So you can look up and trust, or you can keep staring down in despair. And you know the choice is always going to be yours because you own your free will. I love what Rahab said to Joshua. I think it's in chapter 2. She said that their hearts were melting in fear that one day they would cross the Jordan because they knew, even the giants knew, that God was with them. So tell me, what demons are bullying you? Today, I want you to take one baby step forward towards deliverance. Go to our website, 
and complete our client intake form. And then trust God that he will lead you because he will never overwhelm you. But it's time for you to stop allowing and start occupying your destiny. I hope this helped you and I hope it blessed you today. And I pray that you have a good week. God bless.